Hey, Father Mitch here. So on Saturday, some buddies and I went to the reenactment of Patrick Henry's speech at St. John's Church right here in Richmond, Virginia, on the 249th anniversary of his famous speech. I shot some video. I recorded the national anthem that we all sung together. Video was not allowed uh, during the presentation of the reenactment. But I did read for you here the last minute or so of the speech interspersed over some of the photos that I took at St. John's Church, as well as at Patrick Henry's Scotchtown, which is right down the road. I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you also remember that this great American experiment is the first time in human history that a people governed themselves. And I want you to remember also that Virginia's state government is the longest continuous governing body in the Western Hemisphere. And that's really quite something. Anyway, enjoy the video. Take care and God bless. Even if we were base enough to desire it, it is now too late to retire from the contest. There is no retreat but in submission and slavery. Our chains are forged. Their clanking may be heard on the plains of Boston. The war is inevitable, and let it come. I repeat, sir, let it come. It is in vain, sir, to extenuate the matter. Gentlemen may cry, peace, peace, but there is no peace. The war has actually begun. The next gale that sweeps from the north will bring to our ears the clash of resounding arms. Our brethren are already in the field. Why stand we here idle? What is it that gentlemen wish? What would they have? Is life so dear or peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it, almighty God! I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death.